So hey guys, this video is going to be a quick little rant video. It is something that has been sitting in my spirit for the last few days and I feel like my face is full of makeup, I'm home, I might as well make this video now that I'm here. So before I start, I want to kind of give you a little disclaimer. Um, if you have had a death in your family, um, if you've had a pet pass away, if you've had like a real legit breakup where you've been with someone for like seven years um, or like three years and then you guys break up and you have to move out of each other's apartments, and I will be there for you. If you are sick, if you are dying, if you are weary, I will be there for you. Like whatever you're going through has to be serious, legit stuff. Like you have to be going through something traumatic. Now, I'm probably not even gonna edit this. Now let me just say this. I am not the sympathy friend. I am not the friend you call when your boyfriend has cheated on you for the third time. I am not the friend you call when you are kind of in this really weird job situation and I've kind of told you what to do and you are then not doing it. I am not that friend. I'm not the friend that you call to let me know what's happening in your life and it's the same shit that you've asked me time and time again for, for advice. I am not that friend. I am not the friend where you call me and I'm going to rush to your bedside because this guy who was like sleeping with the world decided to give you an STI. I'm not that friend. I'm not the friend who's going like, oh no, he, he just probably needs some time to like roam around the streets and like sleep with other girls before he decides to commit to you. I'm not that friend. And if you want me to be that friend for you, I'm so sorry, but that that's not what I'm here to do. I'm not here to baby you. I'm not here to do this thing where I'm now going to tell you what you want to hear. I'm going to tell you what you need to hear and you're not going to like it. Because I have been told several times, and I'm aware of this, that the way I deliver news or information is real harsh and it's blunt and I'm mean. I'm very mean. I, I can admit that I'm mean when I'm telling you the truth. But I would rather someone be mean and be honest than feed me a beautiful, beautiful lie. Because the last thing I want to be told after something really traumatic has happened to me is that, oh, well, maybe it's you. Maybe you just need to give him time. No, he's an asshole and you need to leave him because you're an amazing person. You don't have time to be wasting with douchebags like that guy. That's what I tell you, but you don't want to listen to that. What you want to hear is, maybe it's you, and you just need to give him time, and you just need to be more assertive and let him know. I'm not, I'm not that friend. And I feel like such an asshole when people are like, oh, well, you know, this is going. Like, I feel like people stop telling me things because I deliver them so bluntly and so honest. And I feel like maybe it's me and maybe I need to change who I am, but I'm not going to do that because I think I'm awesome. And I think that maybe it's you, girl. Maybe it's you. Maybe it's you who's having a problem absorbing information. And maybe it's you who just genuinely wants to be hurt time and time again because you're a masochist. So if you have a friend that you have given her tough love, you've given her this speech about how she's a bad bitch and she can do better, but yet she hasn't heard a word you've said, send her this video. Because maybe you have a friend who's now six months pregnant with some asshole's baby who she shouldn't have been pregnant with in the first place because he's 45 and married and lives in Tallahassee. Maybe she needs to see this video to realize Girl, your friend's not crazy. It's you, bitch. It's you. Maybe you need to reevaluate your life situations before you start fucking married men. And no, this video is not about anybody in particular, kind of. But, but, I feel like I needed to get that off my chest. 
because I feel like I was going crazy. I feel like I told her what to do. She didn't feel like doing it. Oh my God, it's her. It's not me. Because sometimes when you talk to people, you feel like you're going crazy because you've repeated the same thing seven times in the last hour. But hey, hey, send your homegirl this video if she needs some tough luck because Lord knows she needs it. Also, don't invite me to the baby shower. I get you shit. <laughs>